The Legend of the Pine Apple. One, two, and ready, and In a far, far away land, from the east, there was a girl whose name was Pinya. And Pinya is a very peculiar girl. She loved to use her cell phone. And she was always on it texting her friends. Texting, texting, chatting, face, timing. And her friends were all texting back to her. And they're like, whatever, 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 oh, LOL, OMG. Well, one day, mother called her to the kitchen. Pinya, I would like for you to learn how to cook from me. Pay attention to everything that I do. And Pinya's mom was just talking away and telling her what to do. This is how you do this. This is how you do this. And Pinya was on her phone texting to her friends. LOL, whatever, whatever, whatever. And her friends were all texting back to her. Whatever. Oh, yay. And then after a while, mom turned to her and said, Pinya, did you pay attention to everything that I said? And Pinya was like, sure. But really, she was not. Pinya's father wanted her to learn. Pinya, come over here. And so, Pinya, I would like for you to pay attention to everything that I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you how to fix things around the house and how to do things in the farm. We're going to milk the cow. And we're going to get some eggs from the chicken coop. Are you ready? And so Pinya followed dad. And dad was just working away in the farm, showing her what to do. But Pinya was back on her phone. LOL, OMG Instagram. And then the friends were doing the same thing. Oh, OMG, oh, whatever, oh. And dad was just working away, working away, showing Pinya how to change light bulbs in the house, how to get eggs from the chicken coop, how to milk the cow. But Pinya was texting away. What a fub. One day, the grandmother of Pinya fell ill. She was really weak and needed the help of the mother and the father of Pinya. So she called for them. So Pinya's mom and dad talked to her and they said, Pinya, we are going to have to go to your grandmother. She's very, very sick. And you listen to everything we told you, so you will be okay. We are going with full confidence in you. And so the mom, mom and the dad, and dad went to the grandmother. OMG, she said, I did not pay attention to anything they were saying. Ah, okay, 
it's okay. I'm just going to get on my phone again. So she got on her phone and started LOLing again and Instagramming and tweeting and all that stuff. But after a while, ready, one, two, ready, go. But after a while, Pinya began to grow hungry. Oh, now I'm hungry. It's time to eat. Okay, so she went to the kitchen and she saw the vegetables and the fruits and everything, but then she went, What do I do? Oh no. Okay. Uh, I don't even know where the knives are. I don't even know where the pots and pans are. Oh man, I should have paid more attention. Oh, okay, let me call my friends. Oh, uh, friends, help me. I don't know how to cook and I'm getting hungry. And the friends just said, whatever. And they hung up. And so Pinya was now left all by herself, hungry. And then she said, oh, that's okay. I'm going to go to the farm and probably get some eggs and milk. Okay, here we go. And so she went to the farm. And then she saw the cows and the chicken and, and she went, What do I do? I did not pay attention. Oh no, Pinya was left all to herself. And then to make matters worse, there was a big storm. She was cold and hungry and she made this desperate cry. I wish I had more eyes so that I could have paid more attention to my mother and my father. Just then, the mountain goddess heard and something happened. She granted Pinya's wish. Pinya turned into a pineapple. Until this very day, the pineapple had many eyes just as she had wished. One, two, ready, and...